Hello everyone. Today in this video, we will see how to resolve session not created exception for the browser version ever than 114. See, we got this error and it is showing current browser version is 122 and our web browser version is 114. So, currently whatever web browser version we are using that is only compatible to Chrome version 114. And our Chrome version is now 122. If you would have noticed, I have already made a video for this error. But here is the problem. Whatever we have made it, that is only compatible till 114. Now as Google Chrome guys, they keep updating themselves for due to various reasons. Might be security, might be some other patches, they keep updating themselves. So it's not practical also for us to keep updating the browser version with the web driver version. Suppose today we are running some tests and tomorrow again we are running some tests and due to some uh, browser update, our test will start failing because whatever Chrome driver we are using that is the old version. So to overcome all this problem, what Selenium uh, Chrome has, is giving us, they have made one separate testing browser for us, which is only, which is only meant for testing automation purpose and which is not used for our regular uh, uh, uses. So for testing automation, they have made one separate uh, Chrome uh, browser, which we are supposed to use for testing purpose and in which they, they will not keep updating frequently. So, till now, to uh, resolve this error, what we used to do, we always used to go to Google and search for Chrome Web Driver Download. And the very first Chrome Driver .chromium .org we used to open. And then from here, this website, we, as per our current uh, Chrome uh, Driver, Chrome version, we used to download the Chrome Driver. And then in our code, change the path of the Chrome driver and then run it used to work but now if you see in our code it is showing <clears throat> that this version is only supports Chrome 114 and our current version is 122 so if you go to download the current web driver version you will not get anything any Chrome driver for ever 114 see everything is only 114 or less than 114 but the problem is here, our current version is <coughs> 122. So how we are going to solve this problem, I will show you today in this video. Till 114 or lower than 114, I have already made this video. You guys can go and refer this. Uh, I will paste the link also in the description box. <coughs> now we'll see how to resolve Chrome driver issue for the version ever 114 so here if you go to this uh, chrome driver page they are clearly mentioned if you are using chrome version 115 or newer please submit the chrome for testing availability dashboard this page provide convenient json endpoint for a specific chrome driver version downloading so let's click on this so here they have given all kind of chrome for testing availability if you see this logo is also different they have written little smaller test one this uh, chrome for testing is only for testing purpose automation purpose and that is not recommended to use in our regular uses so now owners <coughs> better to use this one because they will not keep uh, updating uh, this and it will work for every day so we need not to change our chrome driver version here they have given all the versions stable beta there were now let's not get into all this detail better to always take a stable version so if you go to this stable version here for stable they have given all everything linux mac and also as per your machine configuration you have to choose then so my machine is windows i am working on windows so windows 64 so i will copy paste this and download it in the new tab see so i am downloading it here and then now i have downloaded the chrome for testing now we have to download the chrome driver also for this chrome for testing browser right so if you go for this chrome driver you will see windows 64 is this one so let's download this also
so both got downloaded here see chrome zinzip and chrome driver window so let's unzip everything and now let's unzip this driver also now let's take this path and change into a code see that was our simple code system dot set property where we were setting the chrome driver path right so now we have to change this and if you go and see the chrome driver that is again chrome driver dot exe so we will not change the name only path will change it give the double slash again and this is the new path of chrome driver dot which which is compatible for chrome for testing browser okay now <coughs> what we have to do see till now whatever we were using that was simple chrome driver right which is which is meant for our regular users but now we are using we are using the uh, browser which is only meant for testing so for that what we will do first first we'll create a chrome options we will take a chrome options and we will create a object for this let's call it as op and then now create a okay now with this object let's set the binary value for this chrome in testing exe <coughs> where we have kept this so set binary see everything is given nicely let's take the file path we will pass it in the double quotes we will take the chrome dxc See here, here we have placed our chrome exe. So we will take this path chrome.exe. Let's pass chrome.exe. This is the binary path we are passing setting the binary path and now let's see we have to pass this object into our chrome driver web driver one and let's see whether it is working or not we are giving the new path let's check whether it is working or not See, it is open the new browser which is meant only for testing and it is showing Chrome for testing is only for automated testing. For regular browsing, use a standard version of Chrome that updates automatically. Because in this they keep giving security patches and all, so it is always recommended to use the uh, latest version of Chrome for our regular browsing. But for automation, let's start using this one so we will not, we'll not get any of these kind of issues in future.
so if you don't have you can go here and download it but definitely i am pretty sure that everyone must be having that updated chrome one so but now here if you see initially we were not able to open the session now we are able to open the session but our data is not passing here so for that what we are supposed to do so for that i had already created one video i will show it here <coughs> this one connection failed exception if you go and check in the uh, log also we'll get the same error see chrome driver suggestion invalid status protocol 403 unable to establish web socket connection Invalid status 403 error is coming. See, only local collections are allowed. So, this is coming because our Java is not updated. So, what you can do, either you update the Java whenever you get this error. See, connection failure exception. This is the connection failure exception. We got it. Or otherwise, I have already made one video here. You can go through this video and fix this error. But here, in short, I will tell what we should do to uh, pass this, uh, to resolve this error. Here, one more thing we have to do is, which I have already shown you in that video, same thing we have to do it here. We have to add one argument. The string one will take it. And we'll pass it here hyphen hyphen remote allow origins equal to star double quotes right it will allow all the java connections initially it was getting confused now it will allow and let's see whether it's working or not to get the detail why we are doing all this, you can go through all the, uh, my old video. I will paste the link also in the description and I have shown you here also. It is with the name of how to resolve Selenium connection failed exception. Same exception you can uh, search and you, you, you will get the video. So here let's see whether now it is passing the data or not. Let's see. Chrome driver stated successfully. Oh, that's strange. It did not pass it. Let us check why it is not passing. How? Oh, we have to do this line. Before web driver, we have passed the object. See, because we are do passing uh, uh, doing it later, it will not work. So we have to do it before that, and let's see whether now it is working or not. See, it is moving to Google.com. So, we, uh, in this video, we have uh, resolved two, uh, two errors. One is uh, 500 error and one is 403 error. Thank you guys for watching my video.